A woman who is dying of a rare form of blood cancer is advocating for her right to die with dignity. A death with a dignity law would make it legal for terminally ill patients to end their own lives. There are eight states that have similar laws. Similar laws. I introduce you to the woman trying to make Nevada one of those states. When you get diagnosed with a terminal illness, your whole perspective on life changes. 45-year-old Hannah Olivas has spent the last two years thinking about her death. You know, not even a month ago we were told, hey, you, you know, we don't think you have more than a year left. Hannah was diagnosed with multiple myeloma in 2017, a rare form of blood cancer that affects white blood cells. I don't want to die. It's, you know, it's, it's. My heart and my mind are still in the battle. It's just I can't control what my body's doing. Unwilling to die a painful death promised by her disease, when Hannah has less than six months to live, she plans to take her own life legally. The choice to use medical aid in dying is an easy choice for me. What makes it hard is that it's not legal here in Nevada. An aid in dying bill would legalize assisted suicide, allowing doctors to prescribe a lethal dose of medication to adults who are terminally ill and have less than six months left to live. Nevada lawmakers heard the death with dignity bill in February. Critics worried if the safeguards in place were enough to protect terminally ill patients. You can experience depression at any point following your diagnosis. Less than 4% of patients are ever referred out for psychological evaluation, and we'll never know how many of them are actually depressed when they end up taking the medications. Hannah thinks patients like her should have the right to choose for themselves. While I'm in control of, of my, my death, so to speak, on my terms, that I'm able to say goodbye to my kids, to my grandkids, to my husband, to my family, while I'm still alert, while I'm not just a shell laying in a bed. The bill did not pass. The state Senate failed to take a vote on the measure. The legislature won't meet again until 2021. Regardless of the time Hannah has left, she'll spend it advocating. We're desperate for a cure, but we're desperate for um, people to get involved, to be that voice for us when, when we can't. And right now, I can be that voice, and that's what I'm going to do. Hannah is still looking into other forms of treatment to prolong her life. When doctors give her less than six months to live, she and her family will move to California, which has a death with dignity law, so that she can legally end her own life.